This FizzLock setup guide is for any motor that clamps onto 19mm rods, such as Seaforce, Tilta, Teradek, or Hayden. If the 19mm mount on your motor slides, place it as close as possible to the gear. Using the 19mm rod included in the kit, the motor can be mounted on either side of the FizzLock. It's always best to use the 19mm whenever possible for the most robust build, but you can use the 15mm rod with the adapter ring if necessary. Clamp the motor onto the rod in the desired position as tightly as you can. Slip the motor into the fizz lock and slide the fizz lock onto the camera rod to get an estimate of your desired motor placement. I usually place the motor as close to flush with the lens as possible, leaving just a little space between the fizz lock and the lens. Once you've found the approximate placement of your motor, go ahead and clamp the fizz lock tightly to the 19mm rod. Before you place the motor in the final position, make sure that the fizz lock is not fully engaged or fully disengaged. This will give you plenty of room to use the knob adjustment once you place the motor. Slide the fizz lock onto the camera rod, loosely engage the motor with the lens, and clamp the fizz lock to the camera rod. The fizz lock clamp contains a thrust bearing, which means you won't need to apply as much pressure when clamping down as you might have to when using other systems. Now you can use the knob on the fizz lock to engage and disengage the motor. Adjusting the knob tightness depends on the motor. For lower torque motors, the engagement pressure can be minimal. For high torque motors, you likely want to give the knob an extra twist or two to make sure that there is no way the motor can throw itself off the lens. The knob not only allows you to secure the motor to the lens, but also lets you quickly disengage the motor without losing your placement, which can be useful for making lens swaps easier. It is possible to tighten the knob to the point where the motor will no longer be able to move. Usually just one or two twists past full engagement is plenty, even for the highest torque motors. For the most secure build, it is always best to use the rosette module that matches the camera rod rather than using adapters. Also, make sure your camera rods are tightened down properly. You can always adjust the rosette to aid in the best motor placement for different builds. Some motors have mounts that are pretty far away from the gear. For motors like this, it can be helpful to add the FizzLock offset arm. You can place the arm on either side of the motor, and it will help bring the gear down to the top or close to the top of the FizzLock for a more compact build. For the knob engagement to work properly, the gear of the motor must always be past the hinge of the FizzLock arm. The offset arm allows you to mount the motor inverted while still keeping the gear beyond the hinge, which allows the knob engagement to function properly. In some cases, you'll find that no matter how secure the FizzLock itself is, a 15mm rod may still twist in the camera base plate. To eliminate this issue, you can add our anti-rotation bracket to a pair of 15mm rods. Slide the bracket on, then, using the 19mm rosette module, clamp the FizzLock over the bracket. This will completely eliminate the possibility of the rod twisting. If you have any questions or problems when setting up your FizzLock, don't hesitate to reach out.